Kia ora, hello, good morning, or afternoon, <laughs> whatever it may be, welcome back. Um, back in Civilization V, this is a continuation of uh, my last live stream. Uh, we did about two or three hours with this wonderful New Zealand Empire mod. It was the best one I could find on the Steam Workshop. Um, there wasn't a lot of variety to choose from, believe it or not, but this was the best one. Um, we have a very special fast artillery unit as our unique uh, we have this country station, which is a really early game building, but a really strong one. And overall, our gold buildings increase our food, which leads to more people, which leads to more production toward buildings. It's a very sort of roundabout loop, but it works. Hey, hey, Tanvir, Jackie, nice to see ya. <laughs> Welcome along. Um, so, I haven't actually even loaded it up yet, as you can see. I was just waiting on the loading screen. So that we can encounter it together. Might just turn yield icons off because it's uh, a little bit unyieldly. And let's <laughs> have a look at what actually happened. So we started off down here in the capital. Spread out a little bit. Around the bottom of the south. Then we took Mosonkani. Uh, and then right at the end we did a wee leapfrog um, and grabbed <laughs> what is now Kiwi Vermeen, which was Venice. And then we've just taken the Iroquois capital as well, and we're burning down Grind River while we're at it. So, there's a lot of undiscovered land up here, um, but otherwise, we sort of have a rough idea of what we're going to go for here. So I think we just pick straight back up. Isn't this a bit early? It is one hour earlier to, ch to try and help accommodate different time zones. Legit. Indeed. Um, these are my unique artilleries. They're very fast and they're very fun. But at the moment, they're not <laughs> they're sort of up to no good. So I might just leave them for the time being. Let's reconsolidate everything together. And then come up with our next plan. Um, and one very important part of that is going to be to actually figure out what's back here. Because I have no idea. We have discovered all of the players. Um, so, so that's something. I'm going to continue to just spam out these great scientists as research boosts. Because I think... We're far enough through where the academies don't matter. That being said, these cities are getting to be quite big. Um, and they probably don't really even have a lot of tiles to work. If I jump into the citizen management... Yeah, we've got a lot of specialists. But actually, really, we should have a lot more. I mean, like, these ones are fantastic. Uh, to be honest, I'm tempted to just completely fill out one of my cities. With specialists because we've buffed them incredibly um, that should really help us with everything you can see now we've got uh, a whopping 800 science Hannah good to see ya yes an hour early I thought I'll try and be a little bit more accommodating oh my poor sleep schedule my poor poor sleep schedule welcome along <laughs> I thought it might yeah I thought it might reduce the impact on some of you guys I'll take one for the team I'll take this one I'll take this one <laughs> Ah, oh, fantastic to see you all. Um, going to continue to build up Kiwi Land, and what I can do here, as I've been saying, like adding my specialists, because our specialists are so good, then let's build buildings that give us more of them. So things like the research lab, like the museum, very helpful to provide us with more specialists, so that these populations can actually do something useful. Um... Mosonkani a little bit different because it just hasn't grown very large because it wasn't our city to begin with. So I'm going to build a hospital here because that'll give it more food to help sort of ideally invest in our future a little bit. I'm not like you, you're killing me. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, uh, and this, this is Venice. I mean, Venice will just get the good buildings. Our gold buildings are our best buildings. Um, by far, because they also springboard into our food and our production. Um, do we have the last gold building? Yes, we do. And we've already got railroad. So, now we need to think about how do we want to shore up our victory condition. And at the minute, we're doing a bit of destroying. So that, that sort of... What I would really like, actually, is to upgrade our frigates into battleships. Ideally, even stronger than that but we'll take the battleships um that'll also mean that we don't need iron anymore because i think we've only got like one yeah we've got no, we have literally no iron so it would be really great if we could get away from that kind of as soon as possible um 
at the same time, I'm conscious of the fact that we also have a religion and uh, Babylon's being a little bit annoying about that. Hey, Rich. Got a chance to watch a live stream just on my channel a month ago. Binge watching my Survive content. <laughs> oh, that's awesome to hear. Thanks for tuning in and letting me know. That's wicked. <laughs> um, just going to heal up all of these ships so that we can upgrade them. Try and fight our way through this awful terrain. Looks like there's no one else here. Gandhi would like open borders from me and he'll vote for my <laughs> ideology. Um... Oh, as tempting as that may be, I'm gonna just decline that. I don't trust. I don't trust those open borders one bit. I don't trust them at all. Okay, cool. We got the porcelain tower as well, and we've just learned how to fly. First Kiwi ever to learn how to fly. Oh my goodness. We've just found the settler. Ah, uh, are we still at war? I'm not sure. Easy. No, we're not. <laughs> we declared peace. Yes, that's right. We declared peace at the end of last time. I might have to send... I might have to send something to Gandhi's way, legit player. And you're right. I might have to send a little something Gandhi's way. Uh, <laughs> I maybe should change my research priorities to nuclear fission, huh? Because <laughs> um, that's quite an impressive capital. And it looks relatively undefended. Although its geography is, is actually quite annoying. Um, like, terrain very difficult to cross. We've got a Shoshone city also sort of crammed in the middle. Um, we can't forgive Venice for spying on us still, even though they're only in the game because they control Geneva. That's fine. <laughs> We're still going to bully them while they're down. Okay, this is important. These upgrades. What do we need? We need oil. Oh boy, watch there be no oil. Oil? Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant. Okay, there's some. Let's get a worker here. Uh, and maybe, actually, we should continue to spread our religion, too. Oh my goodness, I've got so much money. Uh, <laughs> let's get that worker. We'll get that oil online. Do we have any more? We must, surely. We span the whole freaking island. Ah, oh, it's a little bit offshore. Perhaps that's, <laughs> that's why that little city was there. Maybe. <laughs> Um, okay, let's go the nuclear route. Uh, I agree. Let's get atomic theory. Oh, we're gonna have to go through ballistics and all sorts. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to do the Manhattan Project. So let's work our way toward that now. Um, and we must actually, let's just quickly nip this guy back here. So we've got some upgrades that we're going to need to do. Uh, really don't love that settler making its way along here, but I guess I don't mind. If they want to establish another little city, uh, 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 who am I to stop them? We can just take it later if we need to as well. <laughs> India, stealing technology still. My goodness. My goodness gracious. Octopus. Hello, you beautiful person. Not an oil rich country yeah well a bit of offshore a bit of offshore drilling <laughs> i mean ideally not obviously but a little bit of offshore drilling um but i don't see it here <laughs> so i'm not sure the whole map actually this whole map uh is sort of a little bit scarce on resources i mean if you look at the top i've had basically no iron the whole game um despite <laughs> in spite of my best efforts to take over, I'm just going to continue to block this settler. To take over as much of this of the South Island as I could, uh, still no iron, no iron anywhere. Um, so <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't hold my hopes particularly highly for oil. Although there is a little bit there offshore, um, and then maybe, I mean, there must be some. See that they've got one little offshore tile. Really, really scarce. It makes me worried about, um, eight turns. Oh, it makes me worried about the opportunities for, uh, nuclear fission to be used, shall we say. It makes me a little worried about those, because I'm not sure <laughs> what we're going to have. Okay, well, we also need our privateers upgraded. What's the privateer track line? It must be... 
combustion. I'll just quickly grab combustion and then bounce through that. Might need to up our science game a bit if we want to romp through these techs. Uh, Almaty's given us another military unit, which we don't want, really. I mean, we'll take it, but we don't want. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. And, yeah, we'll heal up. Although, um... Oh, Gandhi. Bad move, friend. Bad move. <laughs> I don't know if you want to be denouncing me like that, to be honest. Um, I think we'll keep working up our ideology. Uh, this time... 15% toward military unit maybe we could get the local happiness continue up our yeah actually no let's do that because happiness is is potentially going to be quite a significant issue if we follow down this uh this victory pathway that we're on at the moment which i think we probably will um so i'm just going to purchase that and a hospital as well let's get the capital really upgraded as large as it can possibly be uh oh we can make ironclads at least that's probably all that we'll need. By the way, top tip, the AI really cannot play around submarines. If, you be, if you're struggling and you're getting towards this part of the game, try and beat the AI to submarines and then build them because it just, they just cannot deal with them if they don't have them already. Like, they just do not think about them or play around them in any way <laughs> at all. So, there's a top tip. Um... I do weirdly need, like, some workers and some trade routes. Workers to upgrade to railroads, because railroads are absolutely ridiculous. Um, what do we need? Yep, more oil. Gonna struggle, but we'll go ironclads. Um, in a golden age, I might just keep this dude for another one. Oh, and we've achieved one influential culture, which isn't hard because we have people who we've sort of knocked out of the game, i.e. our neighbours, who really aren't producing a whole lot of culture. <laughs> so, pretty easy for us to pick up a few, I would say. Um, yes, and actually if we train them in Beach Welly, it works particularly welly because... Um, because we've got the barracks and stuff here, I think. I should just double check that, though. But yeah, see, look, let's get the armory at the very least. Um, and then... It wants me to produce a work boat, but I don't see any oil offshore, so I, I don't, I'm not really going to do that. Uh, cargo ship, though? We should probably do a little bit more trading. It'll help us in the long run. I've got capacity for another three routes. Um, so let's get a caravan here, too. Spam these workers out on auto-improve. They will do, hopefully, as intended, like this guy's doing, and <laughs> build the railroad and not chop down all of my rainforests. Uh, because if we have a look into the rainforest tiles, if I quickly turn yield icons on, you can see they're already doing pretty well for us. Um, we're probably making a lot of science off them, particularly where our cities are so large and there's just population sitting around doing absolutely nothing. Um, <laughs> it's a real... It's a... Like, they, they just go sit in a rainforest and think about science, apparently. Um, I, I don't question the logic behind it. Uh, let's get the military academy. Let's get some really powerful ships coming out of Beach Welly. Hey, Octopus 8! Welcome to the Mini Pixels! It's a pleasure to have you aboard, friend. Oh, wicked stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It's 1.13 a.m. Oh, I appreciate your effort. I appreciate your effort. <laughs> um, I'm going to build the stadium, which I know seems paranoid, but I, I'm just so worried about falling behind in happiness. It ruins me every time. Um, woof, we could trade with the Shoshone and give them 15 <laughs> science. <laughs> Don't think we'll do that somehow. Don't think we'll do that. Let's send uh, production to Beach Welly so that we can really push out units out of it. Um, this worker can get auto-improving my railroads as well. Very important. Very, very important. Um, and then... Oh my goodness! 
Oh, Jackie, with the $5 super chat, let me buy you a coffee. Thanks for getting up so early. <laughs> you know what? I might just have to do that to get through the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Jackie. That's wicked. You are fantastic. Thanks so much. Um, I'm wondering... Do we just keep going down the buildings route in Wellington? We just buff it in every possible way we can. Make it, try and make it the largest capital ever. Uh, that being said, we can send out food and production out of it as well. Um, who else would benefit from it? Sort of no one, really. Uh, maybe Kiwi Vermeen, but it's a little far away. Um, although it is our other main coastal city, and actually it was Venice, and I think it's got a lot of wonders. So... Let's send it some food to help it grow. It'll also send our religion up that way, which um, will be really beneficial for us in the... Oh my goodness, look at all their buildings. <laughs> It'll be beneficial for us in the long run because we have tithe uh, and we have another follower belief, I think, which is giving us extra happiness. Citation needed. Pretty sure it's extra happiness. Um, really what we need to do is jump in here and sort of splash a bit of cash. Um... Hmm, what would be most... Be oh, an aqueduct, definitely. Aqueduct, so good. Country station as well. That's our unique building. And bam, I don't know if you saw that. I should have zoomed out a little bit earlier. It instantly improved all of these tiles because it instantly improves um, pasture tiles. It'll improve your sheep. It'll improve your cattle, uh, horses, and one other. One other. It may have been wheat. Although I don't think it was, actually. Um... Again, I'm sort of, I don't really want to trade with the AI just because I'm so far ahead on science that it just feels like, like a real disadvantage. Not that I should really be too worried, uh, particularly about, um, actually none of these guys. I was going to say particularly about sort of like the Shoshone or Venice. Uh, so let's just have a look at these AI ones, see if we can send our religion out and not take too much back. I think it's going to be the Vatican City. So let's just send it up that way. Um, oh, all of these great profits are so annoying. Isn't that just classic? The player who you kick out of the game sends their great profits everywhere. <laughs> it's all they can do. They spam out their great profits or they build their settlers and they yeet them out into like some island in the middle of nowhere. As I zoom across back to this island in the middle of nowhere. Um... <laughs> Waiting on that oil still. That one oil improvement. How's old mate doing? Oh, yep. It's it's going in the ground. <laughs> We've got good news. It's going in the ground. Um, this will be a very profitable tile for Wellington. Where would I like it? It's going to have to actually clear out one of these rainforests, unfortunately. Um, great person has been born oh my goodness we're just rolling in great people um let's hit this one whammo into another golden age and i'm not worried about concert tours so i might just grab a great music work it's a song for the morning star how fitting <laughs> how very fitting um righto beach welly i think you've got all your military upgrades yes you do now it is time to start producing some units. Destroyers require no resources at all, so they're going to be our absolute best friends. Um, a member of New Zealand. <laughs> oh, the channel memberships aren't available in your region? Oh, that's weird. I thought they were available in all regions. Come on, YouTube, up your game. They, they're so... a bit slow on rolling things out sometimes across the board. <laughs> a little bit slow, a bit slow. I guess that's I guess that's the the trouble with having a platform that probably over a billion people have used. Um, <laughs> uh, it's all good, my man. I appreciate you being here. Right, let's whammo this into the ground, and I think uh, yield icons. Yeah, that's a ten gold per turn. Let's just lock that one. I think it's important that we lock these great. Particularly these great people ones, but also some, oh, there's another one. Also, like, that tile is really good as well. Six food, two gold, two science. Anything that's yetting, yetting? <laughs> Netting me ten, sort of a ten yield or greater is great for me. Is great for me. 
Um, and cost of adopting new policies reduced by 10%. Do I want to put nine turns into it? Or would I rather just have a hotel? Uh, I'll allow it. I'll do it. I think Wellington can afford to do it. There's no sort of like um, international games or any of that carry on going on at the minute either. So I think w we can afford to maybe spend a few turns on that. Um, while Beach Welly pumps out some more ships. I sort of only really want three or four, and then I think we can take India. Um, because they're very undefended. We've entered the Atomic Era, and got another spy. Um, shall we maybe also protect Beach Welly, I think, just in case. I'm pretty sure the AI almost always just spies on the capital, but, um, <laughs> but just to be safe, we'll, we'll do it anyway. Um... And we've got our oil online, so let's build a brand new battleship. We've got four oil to play with, which is wonderful. Um, your neighbors, Poland, Bangladesh. Oh, it's so interesting. So cool. Um, now, nah. I think it's probably going to be space procurements just as a safe sort of backup plan for us in case something goes wrong or um austria starts to win the diplomatic victory which i'm kind of worried about i think that's maybe our most significant threat maybe so i'm gonna grab that i'm gonna get that just in case a very nice backup plan now what do we want to do with this guy i think we auto improve away <laughs> and hope to get some railroads i'm gonna build this army up to just be absolutely ridiculous against cities i don't even think i want the extra movement at this point um so we'll do that and we'll just get it out into the open ocean beach Welly can keep going with that the next city to become free which will be whoa 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 which will be one of these guys uh we'll do the manhattan project austria's stealing texts from me which is concerning um Okay, so we both have seven delegates. I have three, two, two. She's got... So she's getting two from city-states and two from being the current host. Unfortunately, we won't be able to shift her out of host, but we could... We could put someone who's significantly less threatening in as host. In fact, I think... <laughs> I think... I think we should put Venice in as host. <laughs> just just gonna put venice in as host for the meme to take it away from austria even though we could have tied the vote i don't care don't tell me i'm a moron <laughs> we're doing it we're paying venice back see if you're watching that's for you <laughs> how's easy just redownloaded Civ five spent 20 minutes finding it just to realize it was under s not c ah oh, i know that used to get me all the time as well. Sid Meier's Civilization V. He didn't even make the game at this point. He didn't even make the game, man. Ridiculous. Uh, Kiwi Vermeen, we need to invest in growth. Most significantly of all, we won't do the Manhattan Project here. Otherwise, we'll be waiting literally a million years. Um, oh my goodness. This Ironclad needs to be a destroyer. Wonderful. Oh, we're very strong. We could probably just almost go already, actually. Fang out that technology. Let's quickly, while we can, purchase a... Uh, I guess a battleship here. Um, and it's just instantly incredibly promoted. Let's get it land units. Na yeah, land units and naval units. Sure, why not? <laughs> Slavic boy... Yes, <laughs> Wicked. A great writer has been born in Kiwiland. That'll be our next golden age. If we need it, we may not. Um, let's go land units and naval units for this one. Wonderful. Pump that out. Pump that out. Let's go in again with our cash money. Um, could get a carrier. I mean, that will be useful moving forward, but probably less useful right now. A late game landship, highly effective at recon, hunt enemy submarines. We probably need more battleships than anything. You sunk my battle. And I've got three more, two more oil to play with. So I'll buy one. Do, do, do. And then 
build uh, nah let's get let's get the manhattan project going now i think that's a big enough army get the research lab in mosonkani for support um should we go for the culture bomb perhaps instead i think we should yankee girl <laughs> american yes polish oh polish roots very interesting uh yep i'm gonna, gonna spam out the culture bombs at this point and let us move toward the holy city for Hinduism, our main religious threat left on the continent. Uh, granted, there is a little bit of a little bit of sort of Confucianism coming out of the center of the island, uh, <laughs> which is a, which is a, ironically placed, really. Um, but we'll we'll ignore that for the minute. Let's start sending the fleet toward Delhi because I think that's where we're going to move um what are we doing international games and freedom I don't think we want anything should we demand something of him just to really threaten him we'll demand that he votes yes if you want that he says get this you'll have to come and get it you know what Gandhi I might just freaking do that I might just freaking do that. Bring it on. Bring it on, Delhi. We're not even, we're gonna even, oh, I mean, Mumbai looks, does look kind of juicy as well, but I think we're just gonna swat straight into the middle. Thankfully, Delhi is a coastal city, a very undefended one at that. A highly undefended coastal city. Uh, radar unlocked. I'm not mega excited about that feel like we're probably done improving our ideology at this point. Well, we could get the extra gold for trade routes, but I sort of more like the idea now of coming back in and completing rationalism. Uh, a really nice gold boost for us, for us, and also completing it is what I really want to do, so that we can do something with our faith. Although, speaking of, it wouldn't hurt to purchase a uh, great profit? Sure. We'll purchase a great profit um, and maybe spread our religion around a little bit as well. Because, like I say, it's a big moneymaker, believe it or not. It's a huge moneymaker. Um, and send this one up to boot. And we're away laughing. Sometimes these turns are taking a long time. Sometimes they're quick as. Let's just... Have a look here, just in case the map maker decided to put some random island out here. <laughs> they did not, but I always like to check, because you never know. No, you might find, like, Uranium Island or something. If I was making a map, I would definitely hide some kind of island that was, like, I don't know, filled with goody huts and uranium and just all that fun s <laughs> All that fun stuff. All that fun stuff. All of that fun stuff. Um... Do we have our railroads done yet? Nah, we're still ages off it. We'll just get one more worker. Um, and we... The AI, as I say, will always, always vote for international games. So we can just put all of our votes into freedom. We did successfully make Venice the leader and split their vote, which will make us stronger in the long run. We're such a political <laughs> schemer. Yeah, breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> so this is working fantastically well um yeah as i say with this great profit let's start spreading the good word through into the enemy lands uh we've got an anti-aircraft gun now we might keep that that seems like a reasonable thing for us to keep moving forward <laughs> it's like not a not a bad shout um as expected world ideology freedom passed only just so look at that really only just we got it by one vote uh and and international games everyone loves it except the shoshone we're like no we don't want to <laughs> don't want to borrow that um what would i like to do now with my immense political power we could world religion will be a difficult one for us to win but we may have gamed the votes or split the votes so much in our favor that we can actually get it so Let's be cheeky and try for world religion Kiwiism. We'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. Um, I feel like we might just be able to get it. Maybe we could buy some votes. I'm, I'm not against buying votes. Uh, I may have done it once or twice in the past. Be known to buy the odd vote. Um, 
Oh, and this city just needs everything. Let's start working on the international games. Because uh, that does matter to me. Um, and I think we'll start spreading our religion up this way because Delhi is in trouble. In fact, Delhi's probably in trouble next turn because we're we're in range and ready to fire here, really. Do have anyone? No, we still don't even have any more ships coming. Where'd they all go? <laughs> I guess five will be enough. We'll soon find out. Um, and let's get all of these guys just building our railroads. Hey, Artie, long time no see. Long time no see. Um, yeah, we're starting to starting to get rid of these spies now. That's great. The one thing that I don't like about naval warfare at this part of the game is it's I always get confused between the battleship symbol and the destroyer symbol because it's literally just like turned around with one little extra, one little extra <laughs> line through it. But I think we're ready to go. Let's give this a whirl. Um, yep, that's fine. Goodbye. Farewell. Prague has declared war on us. Where even is Prague? <laughs> Does anybody know? Oh, there it is. Not too worried about Prague. Oh, look, Venice have got their great merchant. I wonder where they're sending that. Why don't they take Vatican City with it? It's a no-brainer. I wouldn't even mind if they did it. Yeah, long time. Long time. Uh, we'll, we'll leave them to it. We'll see what happens. Um, right, let's romp in here... I think we'll probably shoot that. Yep, good one. Let's see how much damage we're doing against the city. We're doing a lot of damage against the city. <laughs> uh, yep, I think that's fine. I think that's just fine. I think <laughs> that is uh, really a non-issue, to be honest. Yeah, let's grab that. Let's sneak through here and hope to not find a deli... Uh, unit to squash us we're surrounded by civilian units venice is like hey you're not so trustworthy no crap venice no yeah the war drum begins tanvir the war drum begins no i cannot forgive this i cannot forgive you for spying on me uh oh yeah do a deli fought back a little bit we're the first one to complete the manhattan project um let's work on the international games i'm a big fan I think we'll do it here in Beach Welly as well, Lee. We'll just do it everywhere. Let's ensure we win it. Um, and these ridiculous chongas of battleships with their ludicrous range and damage. We're well ahead of the enemy. Delhi is ours. Let's annex it immediately. <laughs> I want it under my control. Okay. Whew. All right. Now we have all of the capitals on the South Island. We don't have all of the cities, but I'm not, I don't really mind about, I'm not, I don't know about you guys. I'm not the kind of player who needs to cat take every single city to feel like reasonably satisfied. Um, I don't mind if I can just pluck the capital and maybe one other, uh, I'm all good. So like in this case, I reckon we, we move forward to Mumbai. I just don't know if I want to keep Mumbai. I, like, I want rid of it, but I don't want, I don't necessarily want it. And this is where the, this is where juggling happiness becomes an issue. Because you can see I've already taken a huge happiness penalty. Look at this, we're generating an insane amount of unhappiness um, because of all of these cities that we've taken. Uh, we are at war with um, India, so we can get rid of their religious units now as well. Uh, and I should take advantage of that while I can. Yeah, see, and Mumbai is so weak and undefendable. Like, it just, it makes sense, I think. Oh, there's another wonder for us. Very good. Uh, immediately, we're establishing all kinds of city connections and all sorts. Um, what's my next big technology is kind of what I'm wondering. No map painting. I'm not a big map painter, legit plan. I'm not an embargo Venice. <laughs> Sorry, I missed your chat. I should have. Should have embargoed Venice. <laughs> um, I guess we want the Apollo program. That will be quite helpful for us. Um, our production buildings do also provide us with gold. So there's some logic in moving along the top of the tree to get them. Uh, I mean, obviously missile cruisers, spaceship factories, satellites. I mean, these are all good things. So let's maybe shore up the bottom of the tech tree. Move our way through... Do we get anything useful from computers? 
helicopter gunship. Never a unit I've particularly enjoyed using, gonna be honest. I find it a bit sort of janky and clunky and weird. <laughs> Just really weird. Um, we don't... Yeah, let's put some buildings elsewhere. Um, heal that one up. And as I say, just sneak in and maybe take out Mumbai as well. Just just to really make sure that India is not a threat moving forward. Will at the very least really heavily sort of sedate and nullify them. Yes, Hannah, it is today. Today is the day. Today is the day. Uh, not quite yet, because it's, you know, 7am for me, but today is the day. <laughs> um, we did successfully spread our religion, although I'm a little hesitant to walk into enemy lands just yet, so I might just sort of hold off this great prophet, just until we can peace check Gandhi. Um, which should be very, 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 very quite contrary soon. Get that one there, and in you go. To be honest, I just kind of want to raise the city. Please don't judge me. Please don't judge me. <laughs> because, hey, biggest boofer. Nice to see you, man. Uh, always rush satellites early game. This is a bit, just click on set. Just load game, click satellites, done. <laughs> um... courthouse well sure you can get a courthouse if you want i mean you <laughs> if you want to and then pop out of the city because i don't want to be a part of that raised mess um it's so annoying that these clouds yeah we need the satellites we absolutely need the satellites don't we and then where do these ships want to move probably up to our nord territories in the north or pff, more like the mid map to be fair but <laughs> let's just send everybody up this way is that a lot yeah yeah that's a lot of yeah and these guys must be due for some upgrades there we have it beautiful oh venice have got cape town as well watch out for venice folks you turn your back on them <laughs> you turn your back on them and they're here <laughs> did he answer yes yes i did yes a big yes but it is first thing in the morning, so it'll be later in the day for me, so it might be, like, tomorrow for you, or overnight for you. <laughs> Times may vary for you, but it's on my, my job list today. Um, international Games is 38% complete. We're just going to try and speed, help the world through the International Games. I don't know if you can picture what these International Games would look like, but I imagine they'd be a little bit tense. There may be some tension between Team New Zealand and Team India, in particular, in these Olympic Games. These sort of Tokyo 2020 Olympics <laughs> uh, of sorts. Where are you going? Rocket that ship. Rocket that ship up north as well. And I'll just position these guys a little bit over this way just to make some space for the incoming fleet. And we need to decide what happens next. What has happened to our city connections? Delhi and Wellington broke. Why did Delhi and Wellington broke? Delhi is under... What? <laughs> the city is occupied, what, by this musketman? Um... <laughs> I mean... Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Problem? Solution. I'll just leave this cavalry in the sea. Fill up enough caffeine yet. That's right. That's right. Quote unquote soon. <laughs> Basically the 1936 Olympics. Well, yeah, I mean, you're not wrong, legit plan. You're not wrong. Uh, Gandhi would like peace. We will graciously accept that deal, and we won't even try and milk anything out of him. We'll just take it and run with it. Um, ooh, spicy Wii unit promotion. Let's get the cities one. This destroyer is not mucking around. <laughs> Up you go. Um, yeah, we'll get the Apollo program as well. As I say, we'll just keep it in our back pocket. You never know when you might need to whip out your Apollo program. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I say things. Okay, very well. The world is denouncing us in the midst of the international games. The midst, no peace? You wanted me to keep going? I mean, we can, we can revisit it in a few turns if you like. I'm not against revisiting. Let's pop down a customs house. Bang that out of the way. Kabul still has a New Zealand crossbowman. 
I feel like that could maybe use an upgrade or two. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't have to. Uh, what were we doing? We were sending production... Oh, man. We were sending production out of Beach Welly to Moss and Carney. Um, I think we were just doing that for our religion. So, we don't really need to do that anymore. I mean, I, I also don't need to be getting six gold per turn, really, either. So, let's actually fuel up Mosonkani. Oh my goodness, we really need our great profit back here, don't we? I didn't even notice that. Jeepers. You should have told me. <laughs> oh, man. Um... Establish this trade route. Yeah, sure. Go to Mosonkani for the minute. But we, our religion is actually in, in danger of becoming extinct. It's only alive in three cities. And one of them's not even ours. <laughs> Although, ironically, one of them is the holy city for the religion, which is... It's a mess. It's a... Uh, the, <laughs> the religion in the South Island has become very messy. Very messy. Uh, okay, we've got our connections back. We've killed an Austrian spy. That's very good. Uh, Gatling gun becomes machine gun and car ball, just in case. Uh, looks like we've been gifted a mobile Sam, which we'll just auto-explore with, shall we? <laughs> you'll never know what you'll find when you send your mobile Sam up into the mountains. Um, Babylon, interestingly here, I think has had a pretty bad game. Because uh, it looks to me like they may only have one city, maybe a second in the central plateau, maybe... It feels unlikely, but perhaps. Um, okay, let's just alert up these bad boys. Um, no, we can't fit. Whoa. Her eye just went see-through for a bit. <laughs> gotta love the- gotta love these leaders. <laughs> gotta love these leaders. <laughs> Uh, we, oh wow, we really love shiny things. I need a spend gold city to remind me <laughs> to spend my gold. Um, okay, let's have a look where it would be most useful. Maybe Kiwi land? What can we upgrade? Yeah, let's get hotels. Um, also I'm pretty sure we get some kind of bonus from castles. Yeah, we get happiness from castles. So... I notice I'm only on 13 happiness, which is a little bit concerning. So let's go walls and castle. See, we get plus three gold. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, plus one happiness, plus two culture, and plus three gold. So they're actually really strong, um, particularly when we combo them with, say, the hotels. Um, I think we should probably do the same down here if we haven't already. Oh, uh, we could get this one a hospital and a broadcast tower. Uh, Wellington will have it for sure. And do I care about the rest? Not really. <laughs> our, our satellite states? Meh. Say la vie. We'll leave them to it. Why have a religion when you can praise Kiwis? That's a great question, Orbital. That's a great question. Yes, I did. I did. Started uh, an hour early. Just to try and be a little little bit more accommodating to all. And to all a bit more accommodating. We absolutely romped home with the international games. Got like six times the gold medals of Venice. And... Oh, man, look. Th these guys didn't even try. <laughs> ah, say la vie. We'll leave them to it. And a great artist was born, and we've got policies to adopt. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Um, we don't need the boosted research agreements. At this point, we just want to complete rationalism more than, more than anything. We're not really worried. Uh, Wellington, a turn. A turn for a hotel. Feels like a fairly reasonable exchange. <laughs> um, we're not in a golden age, so let's romp into another one. All the money in the world. All the money in the world. Caving to the west, <laughs> the western audience. <laughs> Just crippling my sleep schedule. <laughs> He's like making up, making videos until four, and then <laughs> up again at seven. Um, what do I want? More happiness? I do, actually, believe it or not. You're like, you've got 30, you don't need more. I do. I desperately need more. Particularly because when I choose to raise cities, which I absolutely do, because we don't want all these crappy little ones that messes with our culture again, um, the happiness penalty is insane. Like, it's like 15 sometimes. Um, which just isn't doable. And seaport. Cool. 
and a factory. Brilliant. Right, that should be these, oh, well, except for these ones that have got the walls. Most of these guys are sorted for a few turns. Um, just heal up these ships, make sure they're all good as we just sort of hang out in the cook straight. I know just the Iroquois are sending out their cannon. Gee, should I put my scared face on? I probably should. Wow, we're getting 1540 science per turn. I play some Civ today, you should think about trying Beyond Earth again. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I've been wanting to try it again too, but I don't own it on this account. And I do not want to buy it full price. Even though I really want to make one or two videos on it, because I think it's a really interesting topic. Not only to cover the, like, background and history discussion of, but also just to, like, compare it to, um... I don't know, there's so many things you could compare it to that I think would make for a really interesting watch. Like, I'm interested in, in researching and reading about it, so I assume other people would be interested in hearing about it too. But I just really don't want to pay full price for Beyond Earth. Like, I it just, that would, it's just like a mental barrier that I cannot get past. And it must only be like 30 or 40 New Zealand dollars, surely. But I just, I just cannot bring myself to pay full price for that game because it was just so terrible at launch. I understand it's got better since. We'll vote for Kiwiism. I understand Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth has gotten better since. But, uh, with the DLC, I think, in particular, but, um, you're right, Hannah. At launch, oh my goodness, what a mess. Oh, man, what a mess. And it just felt so foreign. Hey, we got satellites. We made it, biggest boofer, to the information era. Um, the information era. Ooh, Beyond Earth. Sorry, reaction here. Actually, that's a fun idea. Let me just create a poll. Uh, Sid Meier's Beyond... It's, of course, not be... It's not Civilization Beyond Earth. It's just Beyond Earth. Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. Yes, no. Let's see how... Let's see how the... Uh, <laughs> let's see how we feel. Let's see how we feel. Uh, I predict it'll be a, a fairly conclusive no. Um, it'd be weird if it was a yes. I was bummed, had it preloaded, stayed up till midnight to play it. So did I! I was up and... I actually uh, bought it physically, right? I bought the physical version of it. And I was at its midnight release, like an absolute madman. Some kind of lunatic with nothing better to do with their life. <laughs> so I'm here at this game store at midnight. There's like two other people there. It's like me and two other guys, like sort of like staring at the ground. <laughs> and then, it's like, yeah, I bring it home and I load it up and it's, and yeah, just, I think I went to bed like 15 minutes later. <laughs> That's not true, actually. I, I'm pretty sure I stayed up for hours, um, but just sort of didn't really enjoy doing it didn't really enjoy doing it. Uh, why play Beyond Earth when you have a AC? Yeah, AC, uh, the greatest. Although, um, perhaps a little bit dated uh, <laughs> looking. Um, did we do the thing? I thought we did the thing. Let's do the thing again. Um, and we've got this great engineer, which we'll just put to one side for the minute. Uh, this caravel has done all it can do, and I don't want it anymore. We've explored the whole world! <laughs> uh, but we may as well bring this one down here and post it up outside Jerusalem or something. Maybe it comes in handy later. Uh, can't be bothered with you. Don't need any more. And... I'll leave that unit there. I don't mind. Right, let's sort of... Babylon looks like a really simple one we could just nab right now. So let us, um, maybe, I don't know, let's throw around some demands first, shall we? See if we can just, like, <laughs> take stuff. No, Where don't be not? a fool. Well, you are the fool, really. <laughs> let's be real. You are the fool. You voted yes, you absolute madman. Waiting in the dark, standing there just to play surf. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and it wasn't worth it. <laughs> it was not worth it. At all. I should have gifted that to them. There's a copy of Fallout 4. The whole game stopped me and it seemed quite fun. Felt like a party. <laughs> yeah, it can be fun, eh? It can be fun. <laughs> Do you say it's dated? It's like a fine aged wine. 
An ugly wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's slightly ugly. It's a slightly ugly wine. Oh my goodness, a third of you voted yes? Get out of here. What are you... What is wrong with you people? Waiting up till midnight just for a game. Just get it when you get... Well, you, you can't wait. You just, you can't wait. Yeah, it didn't... It had great marketing, didn't it? For its time, it. I remember it had great marketing. Like, I was like so hyped for it. Which, you know, on hindsight, may not have been the greatest, um, <laughs> but I'm so hyped for it. Um, right, now, successfully, our plan has worked. We can now vote for ourselves to become host. After splitting the vote between Venice and Austria, we'll vote for ourselves. Venice voted for science funding. We voted again for our religion, which we're going to struggle to pass, but over time we might be able to pick it up. Um, let's sleep that bad boy. And Babylon... The time is now. You're done for. Okay, which ones are the ranged units? <laughs> it's these ones. Um, oh, look, and they're just getting their settler ready as well. They just thought, hey, should we maybe, like, get a second city? What, what do you guys think? We could, we could think about getting a second city. Babylon, much stronger uh, than Gandhi's. Much stronger than Gandhi's Delhi. <laughs> considerably stronger. Um, oh, let's get Kiwiism into Mosonkani and fire upon that great prophet. In fact, if I had a military unit that was in range here, I would do it. Can we get this one? Yes, we can. We'll snake that. Uh, that Babylonian great prophet, I should say. We can move pretty fast along the railroads, but we don't have... <laughs> We've got a, this anti-air gun, which can't make it, unfortunately. Um... That's all right. We'll swap. We'll swap that one next turn if the time comes. And yeah, sure. We'll go and it's a somewhat safe move there. Um, I don't really even need this great admiral. I, I, we could move it up here to do a quick repair of the fleet. Maybe I probably won't keep it around. Oh, what have I missed? See, thank you for adding me. You need to add a neutral option. <laughs> no, Jackie, you cannot be neutral. Hey, devilish. Nice to see you, friend. Nice to see you. What number do you think the Civ franchise should end on? Um, to be honest, I could almost see it never ending, but maybe I'm biased. Maybe I'm biased. I don't know, it's, it's hard to see. How does it end? This this Because there's such a long time between games is the thing that they do really well. You know, it's sort of five, six, seven years uh, between games. I mean, I could see them easily dropping that down to like 10, just doing like one every 10 years. Then you capture generation upon generation of people. And in theory... No, no generation who's into it ever really gets that bored of it because they're so few and far between. I don't know. I, I could see it just going forever, to be honest. Like, even I could see that being a, even a fairly business... Like, if that sort of makes business sense to me as well. Um, that it... That provided the wider industry continued forever. There was no reason why it wouldn't. Um, this is a great profit of not my religion. So we might just... Uh, do do the tile improvement thing with this guy. <laughs> Gandhi is a wimp until nukes. <laughs> Don't think I ever use the Admiral. Yeah. Yeah. Churn them out every year like FIFA. Yeah, do the Call of Duty FIFA thing and just pump a new Civ out. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, the DLC model is uh, much more active. Um... Which, again, probably helps support them uh, as a whole. Um, <laughs> so, you know, granted, we, we do receive more content than just once every ten years. Um, whoop. Okay. Well, I'll just probably puppet that because, yikes, that's a big happiness penalty. We cannot afford to do anything else. Um, we cannot afford to do anything else. So you don't take stress. Hola. Hey. Steinader, nice to see ya. Um, is this my prophet? Yes, this is the Kiwiism prophet. Who needs to go back down here. Whoopsie days. Just spread the great word of Kiwiism through Kiwi land. Boom. Okay, good. We're shored up in the in our sort of homeland. We do need to skip it a bit further north as well, though. Um, so let's get a... Probably just a missionary. 
we just send a missionary because it's friendly territory so i don't think they'll fatigue um i think that's how that works citation needed i don't often play a religious game i don't often go the paradox route and make 500 dollars worth of dlc yeah literally <laughs> oh, i do love paradox games though i would uh love to to play a bit more of them on the channel um but whenever I make a video about uh, about a, a game that's quite different, the algorithm is just like, I'm not going to show it to anybody, even your subscribers. I'm just going to bury this where no one will ever find it. <laughs> Which is, you know, it is what it is. Um, let's go straight for a stock exchange there. We're just going to skip all the little buildings. Um, I mean, ideally, uh, we're getting the telescope somewhere else. Hmm. I, I don't really need the Pentagon, but we'll get it anyway. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? When in Rome, get a pentagon. Um, this is my prophet? Yes? No. This is an Islam prophet. Okay. Well, don't spread that religion. <laughs> Which one are you? Are you me? No. You are not. You shall be a holy site. Uh, that doesn't spread that religion, does it? Oh, thank goodness. I just had this horrible thought that expending a great prophet expelled uh, the religion to surrounding cities, but it doesn't. <laughs> okay, this prophet is mine. Can you convert them? I don't think you can. New video I do. New Zealand history happy hour. New Zealand history hour, you pick the topic each week and we'll watch it. Prophet. <laughs> that would be so fun. I would love to have like a... I mean, almost could almost really even put them on the second channel have i played crusader kings i octopus i bought crusader kings when it came out and i played it every night for like two or three weeks i stayed up way too late i played it every night i absolutely loved it i was so deeply involved in it and then i just haven't touched it again since but i like it and long story short i like it like it um <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, Hannah. Hannah, that sounds like a really fun idea, but I don't know if it would fly. I don't know if it would fly. It would probably just be, it would probably just be me and you and, and, and Octopus and, and legit player and Steiner. It would just be us. It would just be the four of us just hanging out, which is not a, necessarily a terrible thing. Uh, <laughs> either, don't get me wrong. Uh, in fact, I would be excited about that. Let's be real, I would be excited. Let's get a bazooka, because why not? Um, and let's get these workers improving these tiles, because look, we don't even have any necessary infrastructure here. Um, got our missionary, let's send this one over to Kiwi Vermeen, and pop Kiwiism out there. We've got this dude who's just sort of standing about doing nothing. That's fine. <laughs> She's got a sleeping musician. Yeah, I'm totally not against trying it. I am totally not against trying it. Um, defend up that one. Okay. Next target. Oh, right. Okay, so Babylon did have a card, which we would get an extreme war monger. Oh, look, the Iroquois settled another Grand River. This time on another useless peninsula. Um, so we've got Egypt north, and then the big bad boy themselves. Um, Egypt should be a fairly clean sweep for us now, like with our existing military. So let's pop around... Northland and do that. How long is it going to take us? Yeah, see, it's going to take us eight turns. So by the time we get there, we'll be ready to roll. Um, so I'm just going to spam click these guys. <laughs> All of you. I've probably clicked the same one five times already. <laughs> Everybody's pulling their hair out. Okay. I think that's good. <laughs> Did I do good? Probably not. Let's. Oh, this terrain is killing me. Let's spread these guys. A weekend long, uh, just a marathon CK3 stream? Yeah. Q&A live stream. I'm not popular enough for that. Oh, oh, hold that thought. Nobody move.
Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry, just had to dip. <laughs> Someone was at the door. What the? Why is the vote 50-50? Who are all these people? Who are all these people? Uh, cool, yeah, let's, let's add, um, let's do a C. I'm really bad at Crusader Kings, just FYI. Like, <laughs> don't expect top tier gameplay, but, um, but I love the sort of, like, story, character creation stuff behind it. Really interesting. Um, yeah, sorry, someone was at the door, so I had to run, and my goodness, it's so cold outside. Ooh. <laughs> um, what's this one? Oh, yeah, we're just getting rid of this. Oh, we are actually just getting rid of this. Okay. <laughs> Screw it. You made it. Hello from the Philippines. Hey, the P word. Nice to see ya. I recognize you from the comments. I absolutely do. Um, no, our units are only passing by you. We're, sa we're saving you till the end until we can out tick you a little bit more. <laughs> no, nobody wants to watch that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> no, nobody would want to watch a. <laughs> nobody would want to watch a and a <laughs> That would. It would really just be me. <laughs> I'd be like. So, Jumbo, what's the, what? What's your favorite building to build in Kiwiland? Uh, I would like to build, to be honest, not really none of them. Um, let's just put. I think we can probably uh, we could build the build the cockpit, I guess. Um, but I reckon let's just put it on research at this point. We can probably start to shift some of these cities. You know, our science is looking really, really, really healthy. We're gonna be able to out tech her any day now. As as long as the coup got down, down to watch. <laughs> What's cold for a kiwi? 20 degrees? Uh, no, like 2 degrees. 2 degrees. It's actually not even as bad. It didn't, it didn't freeze uh, last night, so it's actually not that bad. Um, whoa, that's a mighty trade route with Prague. A mighty trade route. Hey, Adam. Good to see ya. Kia ora, Yamasa. I, uh, <laughs> I did, in fact, get up at six. <laughs> Good to see you. Welcome along. Nice to see so many, f not only familiar, but friendly faces. Such friendly faces. Um... Let's get some airports, just in case we need to quickly ferry things around. Pretty happy with that. Um, Kiwi Vermeen, we could build buildings here and continue to grow it and improve it. Um, but I think let's shift it onto research focus as well, just to squeeze a little bit of extra science out of all these all these cities. Two degrees hits the right spot. Ay, 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 not me. I accidentally said Kia at work yesterday. It's quite a story to tell. <laughs> no way. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> Ah, it's a lovely 36 in CA USA. 36. 36 Celsius. Oh. My, I would, I would love to move to America and live there for like six months. Like, I would, I would legitimately love that so much. So much. Um, yeah, I would love to do that one day. Uh, an absolute pipe dream because it's like you know very expensively around the, the complete opposite side of the world but man i would love to do that that would be so much fun i don't know what i would do i would just have to like get some random job but that would be fine um right anyway back to the task at hand um we may as well spend a bit of i've got five thousand gold so let's just upgrade Delhi to the city it really deserved to be but unfortunately Gandhi's India was not able to allow it to be I'm here today to restore not only uh, economic justice but also social justice to India for the people of India let's continue to upgrade it has it got everything it could possibly need a water mill will give us even more happiness an airport as well let's get people flying between these cities windmill why not stadium hope they know they'll probably do i've probably gone a little overboard now yep it's gonna grow in a big way 
<laughs> and it can build the Great Firewall, because that'll be something it can build and just keep growing. Come to Poland. It's cheaper. It's close enough to the US. Give you a tour of my state. Oh, I would love that. Be my flatmate for half a year. I can be yours for the other half. Simple economics. Oh, it's so... It's it, You're right. It's simple economics. And it's so simple. It is so simple. Such a great idea. I would be a terrible... I'm a terrible flatmate, though, because I sit in my room like this and scream at a microphone. <laughs> Just dreadful. The worst. So annoying. I'm so annoying. And I know it. And I'm sorry. <laughs> um... Yeah, we can have peace. Of course we can have peace. Just give me a silver. And he'll be like, no. See, that's yeah. ridiculous. I'm going to give him peace, but that's ridiculous. Like, why would the AI not do that deal? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, mm, mm, Carbol. I think we'll swap Carbol over onto research as well now. Uh, we can start to tone that down a little bit. We did get the two free great scientists here. Let's get our airports here as well, just just like I say, in case we need to start ferrying things around. Um, and let's go boom into that tech, and boom, even more science <laughs> that I've queued up. What should we immediately grab with it? Mm, we do need the SS engine to be safe, don't we? We could scream up that way. Let's do that, actually. I think we're about to get like a million technologies. Just print more money, duh. <laughs> oh, and then that, they're now buying our blue jeans. The secret to the culture victory. Just destroy their capital. Um, spaceship factory in Mosul and Kani. Actually, no. <laughs> Let's get a mid lab there. Let's really grow it up big, just in case. And completing rationalism will allow us to purchase great scientists with faith. Brilliant. Because now, in Wellington, if we go here to purchase... Look at that, I can actually just buy the SS cockpit as well. Let's do that. We'll buy the SS cockpit with our money. <laughs> Uh, and then, okay, I ruined that example by buying the SS cockpit, we'll buy a great scientist, 670 faith, so cheap, we're making 100 per turn, um, they will of course increase in cost, but, um, for the time being, it's a pretty good deal, uh, Sydney Opera House, boy why not, we'll really show the Australians a what, uh, who's for, um, let's grab the free nanotechnology, that'll get us the SS status chamber, Status? <laughs> Is it status chamber? I'm not sure. It's 2 a.m. here. Oh, Tanvir. I feel you. Oh my. You, did you guys vote yes on the poll just to spite me? <laughs> like, yeah, we love Beyond Earth. It's such a great game. Civ 5 Tearless. I was wondering you'd send a video about the remaining civs. Yes, yes. I, I um, noticed. Uh, I was looking at that video the other day and I thought, oh my goodness, I have to do that. That's on my to-do list this week as well. Um, the P word. That is on my to-do list for this week. Alrighty, uh, do, 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 who do I want to send this to? Let's send it to Almaty. Send some religious pressure out their way. 4pm here, but I'm on New Zealand time. <laughs> you poor thing. <laughs> uh, um, well, Wellington... It doesn't really even need a spaceship factory is the odd thing. Uh, but it feels necessary at the same time. In a weird way. So I'm going to build it. And let's send the SS cockpit up to space. And look at how ridiculous this is. You can literally just be like, buy the status chamber. It's no problem. Everything's easy. Everything's coming up Millhouse and everything's coming up New Zealand. <laughs> as we absolutely romp through this game. We've now surpassed uh, the Egyptians with uh, our culture as well. Speaking of the Egyptians, Beyond Earth is out of this world, Adam. Oh my goodness, he did. <laughs> uh, the fleet is arriving right on time. Let's declare war against the Egyptians. We've overtaken their culture anyway, so 
we might as well start bombarding them with battleships and destroyers. Whoa! If I'd known that destroyer was going to do that much damage, I wouldn't have immediately attacked with it. We almost took Thebes in one turn. If my, <laughs> I'd legit didn't even think we would be that strong. But we were. My goodness. Wouldn't Stellaris be more of a Stellar game? Oh, I love Stellaris too. A game that I frequently sort of go back to. Uh, it's like The Sims for me. I won't... Oh, I love The Sims as well. I won't play it for like two years and then I'll play it for like two weeks straight. <laughs> I can use my new battle stick. Yeah, draw! <laughs> draw the mighty battle stick. Um, it's the, the best I could do. The best I could do. Okay. Um, right, let's ship out this trade route. Obviously to Vatican City. We can also spread our religion, so it's kind of a win-win. And what is this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is this thing? Must be in our capital city. It is. Let's send another part up to the spaceship. Had to watch a Civ 5 stream Octopus 8. Beyond Earth at the stream takes a sudden turn. <laughs> Ooh, Stellaris. Oh, you don't like Stellaris? Starfield. Oh, man. Yeah, Yamasa. Is that actually ever going to release? When is that releasing? It's going over $600 on The Sims. I feel your pain, Hannah. I feel your pain. But also, isn't it a great pleasure? <laughs> Although, it, it, I don't know. I sort of look at it now and think it's getting a bit... It's getting a bit out there. It's getting a bit out there. $50 for, a, um, for like a cottage pack or something? I don't know. Thebes, welcome aboard. We're on but two happiness. Now, now, let me end this poll. I can't believe late 2022. Oh my goodness, Yamasa. Okay, I can't believe that result. I feel like um, uh, that was absolutely rigged and you all teamed up against me to ensure that, <laughs> that Beyond Earth was voted as a good game, apparently. Apparently Beyond Earth was a yes, not a no. Uh, what were the final results? 28 votes. So not a huge number of votes, but it was it was a 38% yes. Um, how should we take our victory? How should we take our victory? Do we want it with two sugars? Um, or not? No. Do we want a domination victory, which we could absolutely do? Do we want to pursue the cultural victory, which I don't think we should do? Or do we want to... Uh, much like the cryptocurrency market at the minute, take it to space. Guess this is a Beyond Earth channel now. Xvote CK weekend stream. Yeah, I'll um, I might might do a wider channel poll for that, but I, I acknowledge it won't win the poll. But what I so like, I'll post a poll I'll, on the channel community page, and I'll say, "What would you like me to stream?" And I'll offer um, maybe I don't offer Civ Five to help make it a little bit more fair. Uh, but either way, I'll offer like a Civ game, uh, CK3, and maybe something else. But even if CK3, like don't be afraid to vote for it because I don't necessarily just choose the winner. It's also for me about gauging levels of support. So if CK3 lost, but it's still got like 20%, uh, of the vote, then to me that would signal like, yeah, there's a good proportion of people who want it. Because obviously as a Civ channel, uh, e if I post Civ 5 as an option, it always wins. And then if I post, if I, maybe there's two Civ 5 options and one Civ 6 option, or maybe there's no Civ 5, but I only offer Civ 6, then that will win, right? Like it's, it, the votes are predictable, but just, just, I just want you to know that I also gauge the levels of support, not just the blanket who wins, who loses. Um, it's very interesting. Very interesting. Hearts of Iron 4 or Vic 2. Love Hearts of Iron 4. Never really played Vic 2, personally. Uh, but I think it's a great game. I think it's a great game. Starfield's Collector's Edition, for sure. Don't know. $1 for every relative you marry. <laughs> you don't mean that, Octopus. <laughs> Here's me doing, like, a... 72 hour live stream where I just have these insanely large families <laughs> and they all just get married to each other uh, no I wouldn't do that to you I'm not that mean or that profit profitable <laughs> neither neither um right Wellington what have you got here 
trade mission. Yeah, sure, we can do a trade mission with that guy. <laughs> yeah, literally, Hannah. <laughs> it would be ridiculous. Oh, that's exciting. I would love to do a CK3 stream. That'd be so fun. Um, the Egyptians... Are, wait, are they... Oh my goodness. Are they actually trying to take this back? I'll just leave that battleship there to plink away at them. Looks like we want a domination victory, which for some reason I... I why did I put a question mark? <laughs> for some reason the dom answer is a question it's like how should we win domination culture or science looks like we want domination let's do it then let's do it vienna oh, yes, i'm sorry it's time you pay uh the big price um just thinking did we actually have any uranium anywhere? I don't think there's a single uranium on this map. Oh, yes, there's one there, which I can't get access to in time. Uh, <laughs> go figure, New Zealand is nuclear free. I mean, it's on point. It's definitely on point. But it looks like, oh, look, and there's another one there in Jerusalem. I could take Jerusalem. Um, or we could, who are they at war with? Oh, damn, okay. Wow, so there was only two uranium on the whole map, so it was a uranium-free, uranium-free playthrough. You need to win in a dominant fashion either way, you're right, you're right. Well, we're gonna do it. Um, I see an Austrian frigate. I'm obviously not particularly scared of it. Um, <laughs> but, that being said, uh, actually it, I'm surprised that it wasn't just gonna be like insta-gond. Insta-gond? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> That's how you England. Right? Right? No? Just me? Probably just me. Um, okay. Who needs orders? Oh yeah, this trade mission. Sure, why not? <laughs> All the money! Man, look at that. Wellington, 32 pop and still going strong. It's not even on food focus. Not even on food focus. Um... Yes. Kiwiism shall take it. Yes, you're right. You're right. I, uh, it was, it wasn't it. It was, um, it was the title. It does seem fitting <laughs> to stick with it. <laughs> yeah, devilish. So right. The, the ultimate play, if you're particularly if you're ahead in the diplomatic game, take the uranium, stock up on it, and then, <laughs> and then ban nukes. The ultimate play. Um, we're not going to get to capture this frigate, but to be honest, we don't really even need to. Let's strike Vienna right where it hurts and sail in for what's going to be a fairly comfortable... Domination victory. I'm going to shoot that uh, worker just for fun. Here's a unit which should not be sailing through the middle of the ocean. How did we do with our religious game? By my standards, we actually did quite well in that... <laughs> I am perhaps the most dominant religion. At least close. At least close. Uh, let me strike... Yeah, that unit in the ocean seems like an easy take. And we've got this unit defending. They're obviously not going to be able to take their capital back. So I'm not concerned about that. Let's do the culture bomb. Funny. Convert them all to Kiwis. Teach them English with a funny accent. What do you mean a funny accent? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Yes, world religion Kiwism passed. No thanks to... Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten down votes. The science funding was also not passed. Uh, that was an even vote, though. Uh, one which we didn't really even care to take part in. Righto. Here it is, folks. The end of an era. Don't get me wrong, I love the accent. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. I've got, uh, I've got thick, thick skin, don't you worry. Um, it's such a weird saying. I don't know why people say that. It's so gross. <laughs> I just, ugh. Um, right. 
Do we have another destroyer? We don't. Might just step this back just a fraction because I don't want the destroyer to die. <laughs> Vienna actually a slightly a slightly tough nut to crack. Not gonna lie. Slightly tough nut to crack. I don't mind if it shoots this Gallias though, so let's just sail it here and do a, a measly five damage. Uh, it looks like the Egyptians are withdrawing from the capital. They've given up all hope. Um, we can maybe fire at them on the way out. <laughs> yep, that'll do them. Uh, let's defend. A as predicted, Devilish the Great Admiral was entirely useless in every way, shape, or form. Very well. Our scientific power has outrun us. And... <laughs> sure, let's just shoot that worker, because that, that's the level that we've sunk to at this point. Right. Hotkey B for bombard. Let's do some bombardment. One, two, three. Can't quite do it still. See, it's a, it's a, actually a fairly tough nut to crack. Um, we may as well keep bullying these Egyptian crossbowmen while we're at it as well. The Great Admiral was key to... The key... The key part of the strategy was the Great Admiral. <laughs> Thank goodness we had that Great Admiral. Oh man, what would we have ever done without it? What would we ever do? Um, cool, we got that Sydney Opera House. That's my Australian accent, by the way. Which I'm sure sounds vastly different to my actual accent, to all of you. Um, obviously. Lol, should we get the free settler? <laughs> I don't think so. Um... I mean, uh, <laughs> I think we're pretty done with our ideology, actually. Um, let's just increase the speed that workers improve stuff. Because we are probably building railroads and so on and so forth. I don't think the research matters here particularly, uh, nor does it really matter here what we choose again without another free policy. <laughs> um, oh, Vienna profited. Off get killing that privateer. Um, another round of bombardments. Can probably also this turn chonk it with that. And we are ready for a victory next turn. We bought our second destroyer in. Uh, we've got this free worker, but it doesn't matter. We'll send him out. Uh, this guy is going to have literally nothing to do. Wow. Going to lose 16 science from getting rid of that tile. So we'll just rush the production of the CN Tower. Alec Mitchell. Nice, you just finished the last VOD. Hannah bought a steam... You did not. Stop it. You did not. Um, oh my goodness, we've got an XCOM squad. What should I do with this XCOM squad? <laughs> Where can I drop it? Oops. Oh, the misclick. I cry every time. <laughs> oh, I love these XCOM squads. They're so fun. They're so fun. No, you didn't. Hannah, you don't need to do that. I, 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 I don't think I can accept that. You're messing with me. Um, Jerusalem? Austrian? Man, Austria did do well. Credit where credit's due. They took Jerusalem. They've taken this city-state. I mean, that probably just thanks to them being Austria. But man, they did well. Man, they did well. Um, who can we fire upon with this? There we go. We'll take him out. And let's roll through the next turn now. We'll accept peace with the Egyptians. Ow. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, Hannah. I don't know about that. Um. Oh, jeepers. Okay, well. CN Tower. Ready to roll. Um defend there and chuck that into research just to absolutely maximize our science and that's that is that is so kind um right let's round this out then shall we it's time time for the Austrians. Yes, Alex, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm afraid 
you are uh, roughly around an hour late, but but I'm, it's so cool that you caught up on the VOD. I, I actually, I never really, I always think sort of like, oh, no one will watch these, I should get rid of them. So it's really nice to hear that people watch and enjoy them. Um, it's really nice to hear that people watch and enjoy them. Right, let's, um, let's do this. One, we're just going to absolutely bombard it into the ground. And, whew. There it is! <laughs> we did it! We did it! Oh, that's what the K stands for! Oh, you're so right, Octopus! <laughs> we did it! The world... The world has fallen! Convulsed by war, many great and powerful civilizations have fallen. I don't know about many, but <laughs> some civilizations have fallen, and we have survived, but not only that, we've also emerged victorious. Uh, the world will long remember our glorious triumph. Let's have a look at the demographics, and it's... Uh, okay, Hannah, that sounds really fantastic, and I will find a way to make that up to you as well. Thank you so much. Um, I'll, I'll talk to you about that once the Discord is established. Um, so, as you, as you can expect, uh, we're the best at everything. Highly literate, highly... Appro great approval, fantastic soldiers just across the board... Uh, worst across the board was largely India. Our ranking, I would expect us to be number one, absolutely. And then if we have a look at the replay, which always scares me, whenever I hit that button, I always think, oh no, is that going to replay the game? <laughs> like, I, just the fact that it's called replay, it seems very odd to me. Let's just have a quick look at the graphs, some of the interesting ones. I mean, obviously our score was the best ever. Excess happiness was one that wasn't the best ever. In fact, you can see we were the worst. One of the only things we didn't do very well at, but managed to pick it up toward the end of the game. Um, gold per turn, we were fantastic at that. Golden Age turns uh, is a bad graph, so just ignore that. <laughs> Number of cities, you see a solid rise up. Wow, what did we finish at? Nine, what, what? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 12. Nine, 10, 11, what a, that's a very strange that's a very strange scale but it looks like we finished off at around 11 <laughs> it's a very strange scale indeed um number of policies don't really care about population we must have been massive yeah man we were like 230 pop we were the whole freaking world science per turn was what we did best and that's the one i would like to finish on because i think uh that's pretty impressive we 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 got an absolute boatload of science that game absolutely amazing uh, now I will just jump over to the chat, uh, very quickly. Just want to make sure that everybody gets their thanks. Um, what did we have today? Thank you. Oh yes. Octopus became a channel member. Thank you, Octopus. Much appreciated. Uh, and Jackie with a, uh, Jackie generosity, two days, two streams in a row, uh, with a $5 super chat. Let me, let me buy a coffee and thanks for getting up so early. It's my absolute pleasure, but I do now have to run, unfortunately. Um, gotta go to work uh so um i will graciously depart um doesn't look like there are any remaining questions in the chat so thank you very much everybody for joining me for this a slightly quicker stream but we still got an hour and a half in today so i'm feeling pretty good about that the conclusion of our new zealand domination game and man it man it was a good one it was a fantastic one um so thanks so much everybody and uh until next time i'll see you then Take care and keep an eye out for that Discord, which I will be publishing today in the channel uh, community page. So do keep an eye out for that. Good vibes all around. <laughs> Righto.